good, I will accept you. But if you do not do good, sin is ready to attack you. Sin wants you, but you must rule over it. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out into the field. So Cain and Abel went into the field. Then Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Later the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? Cain answered, I don't know. Is it my job to take care of my brother? Then the Lord said, What have you done? Your brother's blood is on the ground. That blood is like a voice that tells me what happened. And now you will be cursed in your work with the ground. It is the same ground where your brother's blood fell. Your hands killed him. You will work the ground, but it will not grow good crops for you anymore. You will wander around the earth. Well, thank you so much for that reading. And I don't know if you've known this story. Basically, two brothers go to God. One comes through Jesus Christ, the cross. The other one just tries to come by himself and says, I'm good enough. I'm fine, and that's Cain, and Cain gets rejected. Abel says, I'm not good enough, I'm a sinner, I need Jesus Christ to die on the cross, and Cain is accepted, and no, Abel is accepted. And Cain, instead of saying, do you know what, I also need to come to the cross and repent, doesn't, he gets really angry instead. And, he, and he's angry because he's rejected. And God says to him, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? And God wants to ask you a question. When you're in this moment, and you know when anger, have you ever got angry before? Of course you've got angry. Maybe you get angry regularly. Maybe it's your, your daily uh, bread, as it were, getting angry. God wants to ask you a question, and there's a reason why he asks you the question. Why are you angry? What's going on inside of you? What, what is it that makes you so annoyed? And in this world, people are angry with God because they think, why, why he not accept me? Why am I not forgiven? I'm a good person. I try hard. I work hard. I love, I've been trying to help my family. I try. And you'll see that with people. Look at when somebody's at, angry not long ago, something that they tried to do was rejected. Something that they thought was right was rejected. Many times that's an anger. They have an idea. They have a process. I want to do something. This is the way forward. Accept me. And that's what Cain was like. He's like, I demand acceptance from people. I demand that God accept me. I demand. You cannot say that I'm wrong. You cannot say that there's something wrong with me. I demand that you bow down to my processes of way. And when people push back and reject it, what happens? They're angry. And the thing is, the Bible says that Jesus knows your thoughts. He says that in the book of Matthew. It says, knowing their thoughts, Jesus says, why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? And that's why God is saying, why is this in your heart? Because see, that's where it starts. Before there's going to be violence, and there was violence, Cain was a, is going to lash out on his brother and kill his brother. But it started with this thought inside of his heart. Why are you angry? And God said, why be angry? Because if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? God said, why, why be angry when you can just say sorry? Why be angry when you can just accept that you're wrong? And you can just turn back to God, turn to Jesus and be accepted and have God's help and grace and favour. You see, the problem about your anger, the problem about your sin, is you'll see later, it's going to cause you to live a cursed life. When we read here, God says to Cain, now you're, after he kills his brother, now you're under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hands. When you work the ground it will no longer yield its crop for you. What, and God said, if you're going to live like this, when you go and try and work the ground in your life, when you try to be fruitful, it's not going to produce a crop for you. If you're not going to repent, if you're not going to turn to God, you're going to be frustrated. 
people say, well, maybe I've got success now, I've got money now, I've got a job now. I've got... But the, the, the fruit that what needs to come, the fruit of eternal life is not going to be in you. This grace and this help and this peace that you get through the cross, this hope and this joy that comes through the Holy Spirit. If you're not going to repent, if you're going to indulge in your anger, and even after that, it's going to just turn into rage and violence. You see, in that moment where Cain is angry, he, he could have took two paths. One path would be re- just say sorry, repent, and say, God, I'm sorry for the way that I'm living. I'm living like an animal. I need to come back and realize I am wrong. This anger is wrong the way that I'm displaying it. Or there's the other option to say, I'm going to give vent to it. I'm going to be violent. And then you begin to cross a line that you don't want to cross. And Cain crosses a line. You see, once he killed his brother, he cannot raise him back up again. Once he crossed that line, you see, the evil was in his heart. Evil thoughts were there. But when you cross that line, my goodness, you're in deep trouble. And how many times do we do that in a day when we're angry and we cross the line and all of a sudden we can't bear fruit in the day anymore? Praise God, he gives us a new day. And praise God, even after this moment, you see that Jesus Christ preached the gospel to Cain again. But he says this curse, and it's interesting because he curses Cain already in the cursed world. world. And it's almost like God is saying, this world is cursed and you're going to really feel it. You're going to really feel it. When you've indulged in your anger, when you've went away, you're going to... To feel it. And he asked himself. The Lord asked him. If you do what is right. Will you not be accepted? God saying. If you do repent. If you do say sorry. God saying. Is there not lots of help for you? Won't I come in with love? You see, the good news is that you being accepted is not about you saying, right, I'm going to be a good person now. I'm going to be better behaved. I'm going to try really hard. You being accepted is saying, do you know what? There's wrong. My thinking is wrong. My heart is wrong. I'm a sinner. And God, I need lots of help from you. And you doing right is putting your faith in Jesus. You doing right is following Jesus and saying, Jesus, help me. Show me how to live. Show me how to love my brother that you've called me to love. And that's what Cain was called to do. He was, he was called to love Abel. You see, the, the, the sin so much is not just that, they, that you see this hate, but it's the lack of love. It's the lack of goodness. It's the lack of help. It's the lack of being kind. Not only was he not to kill his brother that day, he was, also to, he was actually to show him love and help. And we need to know that we're all sinners and we need help from Jesus. And God said, if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? That word accepted means, will I not give you grace? Will I not give you help? Will I not help you today? Will I not fill your heart with the peace that you need? Will I not fill your heart with the hope you need? Will I not fill your heart with the joy you need? Will I not fill your heart with the love that you need? Will I not fill your heart with the truth that you need? Will I not confirm to you that you are accepted? Will you, not, will you now know that you, my favour is on you? But instead, Cain indulges in rages and violence when actually there was a place of peace, a place of joy, a place of forgiveness in Jesus Christ because his blood has been shed. And Abel presented that offering and actually Cain is angry with Abel because of that. Because that shines a light on Cain and saying, you don't have to be angry. You don't have to be violent. You've got no right to be angry at this moment because you've done wrong and actually you need to repent. And instead of that being attractive to Cain, he, he, he hates it. And that's what happens in the world that Jesus Christ has came into the world, the light has come into the world, but they hate the light because their deeds are evil and they love the darkness rather than the light. And that's terrible, isn't it? And that's why there's hell. And that's why there's judgment. Because that's what's going on. Jesus says, Jesus knows what we're thinking. He says, do not entertain evil thoughts in your heart instead do what is right and be accepted and be forgiven and know the joy and the peace and the grace 
It helps you to overcome all your anger issues and overcome all your violent issues. There's more grace. Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. So God bless you. Take care.